So my name so is Derek. Derek. Uh, I am, I a, am solutions a solutions engineer, solutions engineer at Sauce Labs. Sauce Labs. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome to, 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 my, to talk. my talk. I'm going to be talking about, talking about adding, adding trust, trust to your pipelines, pipelines using, using Sauce Labs. Labs. Uh, by uh, show, by of show of hands, hands anybody, anybody use Sauce Labs, Labs or use Selenium? Selenium? Very cool. Very cool. So let's so hop, let's right, hop into right into it. it. Uh, so, uh, so today, today I, want I want you to take two takeaways before, before uh, uh, you walk, you out, walk of out of the room. And I want and you to know, know how to scale your Selenium test uh, in, your uh, in your pipeline. And then, and then how, to how to add those tests, tests to your pipeline in order to get some of that trust and fidelity into your pipeline. So a little, so a little bit, bit about, about how Sauce Labs, Labs works. works. With Sauce, Sauce Labs, Labs is, is the remote, remote execution, execution platform, platform that, gives that gives you a place, you a place to, execute to execute your Selenium, Selenium Appium, XUI, and Espresso, and Espresso scripts, scripts uh, uh, where you, where can, you actually can actually scale those, scale those across browser or across, or across device, device coverage. coverage. Um, so, um, so, uh, so, uh, so basically, basically uh, we, send we send commands, commands to, VMs, to VMs, and so, and so if, you if you had a Chrome, Chrome on, on Windows, Windows or, or Firefox, Firefox on Windows, on Windows you, would you would drive through, through your flows, uh, and you'd be uh, able to scale, scale that, that up to as many OS, OS browser, browser combinations or device, or device combinations as your customer base, base, base reflects. reflects. And you can do and that with one test case. So if you had one test case, and you had 10 different OS browser combinations that your customers use, you would be able to execute that with one command and have 10 cases kick off at one time. In Sauce, in Sauce Labs, Labs, and you'd be able to view, to view those, view those results, results. And which is which what, is what I'm, about I'm about to show, to show you. you. So that's, so that's all, my all my slides. Today's, today's talk, talk is going to be mostly demo. So let's, let's go ahead and, ahead and just hop, hop in to some code. To some code. So what I'm, so what sharing, I'm sharing here, here is, is a protractor, protractor test. test. So, so protractor, protractor is a framework, is a framework that's used to test Angular applications. Um, you, can um, you can use any framework. Any framework. So, we so we support, support any binding, binding uh, for, Java, uh, for Java, Python, Python uh, uh, Node.js. Node uh, uh, and so, and so here, 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 the only thing you need to do to actually change your test to run on Sauce Labs, Labs where you would usually run those on your locals, your locals you, need you need to add your Sauce user username and your Sauce access key. And you can see I'm doing that It makes a little bit bigger for you so you can actually see it. By doing, By doing that, that protractor, protractor just knows, knows to point, to point at Sauce Labs. Labs. If you were using, using another framework, framework like JJ, the, the, only, the only other thing, other thing that you would have, have to add, instead of instead pointing, pointing to local host to your local machine and, and to a local, local driver, driver, you'd actually you'd point, point to on-demand.sauce-labs.com, on as you can, as you can see here in the Selenium address, address that is commented, commented out. out. So it's so really easy to add OS browser combinations. You can see I have six specs here. And, and I have, I have multiple, multiple OS browser, browser combinations. combinations. And all I have, all to, I have do to do to take those, take those six tests, tests and scale them across, across those different browsers, browsers is I just add, add another block, block for each device. device. So you can so see I'm going to run, run tests on Chrome. Chrome. I'm going to do, I'm gonna it, do it on the latest, the latest, the latest minus, minus one, one and the latest, and the latest minus, minus two, two versions, versions of Chrome. Chrome. And then I'm also going to run Chrome on Windows. And all I have to do to execute that. Is pass, is pass along, along that comp, comp js. JS. Uh, it'd be, uh, the, it'd be same the same thing, thing if, if oh, let's, oh, get, let's get better, better view on, view on that, that for you guys. You guys. There we go. There we go. Uh, so all, so I, have all I have to do is pass along, along that configuration, configuration file. file. If, if I was using JUnit or another, or another framework, framework, it would be the exact, exact same, same thing. thing. I would list, I would list out those capabilities, capabilities of, of OS browser combos that I want to test on. As I, as I execute that, that, you can see that scale up. I have six different configurations. Now I have 36 instances of WebDriver created. And I can and see I can in Sauce Labs, 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 all of those, all of those spun, spun up and running. And running. So, I've, so got, I've got all 36, all 36 sections, sections running, running and, and what they're doing, what they're doing is, is actually going, going through, through the flow of my test, and they're doing, and they're doing it across all of those, all of those different, different OS browser combinations. combinations. Well, well, that's, that's great, great if I want to do, do that for my local, local but, but I really, I really want, want other people to see it that, that are not SDS, that are not QA engineers, engineers, that are not, that are not sitting, sitting here uh, and actually, uh, actually working with, with test code, code every day. I want somebody, I want somebody who, doesn't who doesn't go to Sauce Labs, Labs on, a on a daily basis, basis to have, to have these results. So I'm going to so show you how to actually put these in a Jenkins job so that you can get the results right in the job. So you can so see, you can here, see we here we have actually have a plugin, plugin for, Jenkins for Jenkins that allows, that allows us to pull, us to pull all those results, results directly, directly into, into a job. So all so I have, all to, I have do to do to set, to set this up, up is set, is set up, a, set new up job a new job in that, in that configuration. configuration. I'm going to give it a project, project name. name. I'm going go to go to where, to where my source, source control, control is. is. I'm going to pull that down. 
but our but sauce plugin, plugin allows, allows you to add your, add your credentials, credentials for sauce, for sauce directly, directly into the job, job pulling, pulling those from those the credential, credential store. store. Sorry, the sorry, screen's, the screen's not, very not very clear here. Uh, what, I'm uh, what I'm also doing, also doing is, is enabling, enabling Sauce Connect. Sauce Connect. So, so a lot of times when you're, when you're building, building, you don't, you don't have, have that application deployed, deployed or, you or you have that have application that behind a firewall. firewall. And so, and so what, what we're going to do, do here is actually, actually spin up a dynamic, a dynamic tunnel, tunnel that will that reach, reach out to Sauce Labs, Labs from this from environment, environment and actually create, create that, that connection. connection. And then we'll, and then be, we'll able be able to spin up tests and run those tests through the connection. So if you had an app that you were that had in your build process, you could build that app, run it locally, and then create a connection to Sauce Labs, and then execute your test against that behind your firewall. Firewall. The other cool the other thing, thing that we're going to do, do in this job, job is, is um, we're going to set, set up a post build, build action. action. That post that build, build action is one, one going to grab the test, the test report that's set up, set up as a, a, a JNet file. Uh, but, we're uh, but we're also going to embed, embed the Sauce Labs report. So, so after, after the job, job execution, it's going to get that session ID from Sauce Labs, Labs and it's going to pull down all of the results into the job so we can actually see the last test run. So we can so actually, we can actually see, see that the tunnel, the tunnel is, spinning is spinning up. We can go we can to Sauce Labs, Labs and, verify and verify that now, that now we have, have an active, active tunnel, tunnel running. running. And now, and now the, tests the tests are kicking, are kicking off, off against, against that, tunnel. that tunnel. I can see, I can them, see kick them kick off. off. The first, the first ones, ones that I spun up, up, you can see that, that there's, there's a no gray no in, in the lightning bolt here. Bolt here. On, this on this one, on these, on these, these are grayed in, which means that we're actually using, using the tunnel to execute, to execute those tests. tests. So these, so these tests are about the application behind, behind the firewall, the firewall and, dynamically and dynamically creating, creating that connection, connection and being and able, being to, able test. to test. As soon as all of these tests are done running, I could actually go here in Sauce Labs. And go to and my go to build, my build screen. screen, and in my and build, in my build screen, screen, I'm going to be able to see the build, the build that's, associated that's associated with this. So I can so see, I can see here, the here the last job that I, that I ran. I can, I can see all of the all tests, of the tests that, were that were executed, executed, but like I was saying a little, a little bit earlier, bit earlier as, a as a dev who's not writing these tests, tests or a dev who's not maintaining, not maintaining these tests, I maybe don't have a Sauce Labs account. I don't really want to have to navigate here. And so for the last execution, I can see, I can see the, tests the tests that are actually, that are actually in, the, in, the, in, the, in the run. run. So, so I can, I go, can in go in here and I can, and I can access, access the video. video. I, can I can see all the, all commands, the commands that were that executed, executed during, that, during test. that test. So I'll go ahead and show you the video here. Video here. I can see I can the see different the commands. commands. So every, so time every time a command, a command is sent over, over uh, it, it, it takes a screenshot, screenshot so I can actually, actually see what the state, state of the application, of the application was, was at a given, at a given point, point in the test. test. I have access, I have access to, the to the logs, all the logs, all the logs associated, associated with the application, with the application and, and the test, test execution. execution. I can see, I can all, see of all of the network, network I.O. I.O. for that, for that test, test execution. execution. So every, so every single get, get, I can see the body, I can see the headers, I can see the HTML, HTML that, was that was returned. And finally, and finally I, can I can see all, see all of the metadata, metadata associated, associated with this task. So I can see the screenshots, I can download them here. here. I can see I can the see parameters that were set at the beginning of the task. And I can also add custom data fields, like this git commit ID that I have down here in Jenkins build name and build number. And what that, and what allows, that allows me to do is, do is everything I've showed, showed you today is accessible, is accessible via, the, via the API. And so, and so let's, say let's say you have a, a, a job, that, job runs, that runs and then and fails. Because, because I have, I have this information, this information I, can I can actually pull the committers, the committers for the git, the git commit, commit, find out find everybody, everybody who's involved, involved in this particular, in this particular build, build, use the, use the API, API to download, to download the videos, the videos and the screenshots, and I can package those, those up and send those, send those to the developers or I see fit, whether through Slack, chat, or even through email. Any questions on that? So the question, so the question was, was how, much how much data storage, storage is required, required for, all for all the video? So, so in this particular uh, uh, 
offering, offering here, here, you get you 30, 30 days. days. So, so you're only you're getting, getting the bills, the bills for, or the, the, you're only you're housing, housing and Jenkins, Jenkins the build, the build uh, information, information and the assets, assets for that for last build. build. So, so it only, it only takes, takes maybe, maybe a couple hundred meg, depending on how long that test run was. For everything else, you can access either one through the API and store it somewhere more permanent, or two, you can access it in SOS Labs for 30 days. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, freestyle, oh, freestyle job. job. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so um, you can do, you can all, do all, of all of this through the pipeline. Through the pipeline. Um, basically, basically, there's a correlation, correlation for every, for every plugin. plugin. I just wanted to show, to show a visual, visual in this demo, demo of, of how to set, how that, to set that up. But there's, but there's a correlating uh, syntax, syntax for the plugin to operate as a pipeline. In fact, that's how we recommend, we recommend most of our customers, customers do it. Do it. But, the, but also, also uh, a, lot uh, a lot of customers do a freestyle job, job and they set it up downstream and they set it up as a place where you evaluate those results. So the question, so the question was, was, is how do we actually, actually bind to a real, real machine, real machine that's, actually that's actually running? So a lot, so a lot, of, lot of that happens under, under the hood of that config, config file. file. Um, so um, so in different, in different, depending, depending on the framework, on the framework that, you're that you're using, you might need to be a little, be a little bit more explicit, explicit about, that, about that, which is why, which is why I have this part right part here, right here, this Selenium address. address. So what this, so what does, this does is actually reach out to Sauce Labs and then kicks off for these given Parameters, parameters, it actually, it actually builds, builds the VMs, the VMs. So, there so there are files on Sauce Labs. The alternative to that, to that would, would be building, building that, that in, uh, inside, inside your environment, your environment yourself. yourself. But that's, but that's again, you, again have you have to bring up the uh, infrastructure, infrastructure and, then and then all the maintenance, maintenance of setting, of setting the OS browsers, browsers on those, on those and, and dependencies, dependencies required, required to drive the test. The test. Uh, well, that, uh, well, that depends, depends on how you set up your Jenkins. Jenkins. If you're running, if you're running it on a, on a node, node, it's not going to slow down your Jenkins, Jenkins master, master at all. And if you're running, you're running it on, on I'm sorry, I'm the, sorry question the question was, is, uh, if, we uh, if we have the videos, have the videos and the assets, and the assets inside the job, will it actually slow, slow down the master, the master Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins master? master? That will only that will slow, slow it down if you're, if you're one, one, executing at that very moment on the master. But if you're executing on nodes, it's not going to have an issue. I think we have time for one more question. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, so, uh, you, so can you can do, do some, some uh, testing, uh, testing with language, with language using accessibility, using accessibility but, that's, but that's all within, all within the framework, framework that, that you're testing. testing. So, so we're just, we're just kind of executing, executing that. If, that. if uh, the Selenium library, library that you're using, using actually, actually has accessibility, accessibility then, you can, then you, can you can test that. Well, thanks for, well, your, thanks time, for your time, guys. I appreciate, appreciate you coming out to the talk. If you have more questions about Slash Labs or questions about how to use your pipeline to execute testing, please feel free to come down to our booth downstairs and uh, we, can uh, we can talk. And then also, and then also we, have we have drones available tomorrow, tomorrow back, on back on the shelf. So definitely, definitely come visit, visit in the wheel and see if you can run a drone.